Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys are having an absolutely amazing, stunning, wonderful day. Incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same. Out wherever the fuck you're living, period. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today's video, I'm super, super excited because we're gonna be filming a mystery box unboxing from around, around the, the world. world. That was a good click. Holy fuck. Fuck. And we have a mystery box from Berry, from France, y'all. We're going to France, y'all. Have you guys seen Bridesmaids? <laughs> when she says, we're going to France, y'all. And Kristen Wiig's character is like, are you fucking kidding me? You are taking me to France! Are you fucking kidding me? I love that movie. This is actually a Bridesmaids a stand channel, in case you guys are not aware. Uh, it's a Fritz Brunet, we can't do any better, period. So we have a mystery box from France and I spent $500 on this mystery box. This is the most I've ever spent on a mystery box from my series around the world unboxing. So shout out to Mo for doing this with me who lives in Paris. I appreciate it so, so, so much. I'm so grateful that we were able to link up and finally make this happen. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone that DMs me and like hits me up to want to do a video like this. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Where should we do next? I don't even know. Like I have, I have no other box prepared uh, or on its way to me. So I don't know what box we're gonna do next. We'll see, we'll find out. But yeah, you guys, that's today's video is gonna be. We're gonna do a mystery box unboxing from Perry. I hope there's a beret in there. <laughs> As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch any of the with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like unboxings, if you guys like the gays, party. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on today's mystery box from Paris. <laughs> I would say that I want to go to Paris, but I've already been. Mm, subtle flex, perhaps. Perhaps. That was a little bit of a flex for me. I've been to Paris a couple times, actually. A couple times. <laughs> Architecturally, it's like actually one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to in my entire existence. Like, it's so shockingly stunning. The Eiffel Tower, bitch, the Eiffel Tower, at nighttime when it glitters up, it's like actually magical. If you guys ever have the chance to go to Paris in your life, like whether it's like for school or for like literally anything, I would highly recommend going because it truly is out of this world beautiful. She's taped. She is really, bitch, there's more tape on here than a drag queen on a Friday night. Ah! Yeah, you hear that? There goes my gaff. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We got it. Paris, we're in Paris again. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with our box. That's about as high as I can go uh, vocally. You have to hit that high note like. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's something wrong with my vocal cords. There's something wrong with them. Okay, hi Manny, welcome to the mystery box. I'm so happy to be able to do this with you. I tried to put a mix of makeup, snacks, and French culture so you have the best experience. Everything comes from French brands except the brow pencil, and it is made in France in the best case. Huh. Congrats, oh my gosh. P.S. Congrats on Lunar Beauty. Successful launch, hope I can try it someday. Heart Mo. <laughs> I would love to have a Parisian wholesaler. Oh my gosh, if there's anyone that lives in France out there in Paris that has a wholesaler people or like, like a place that you guys buy makeup from, please let me know. I would love to like reach out to them and see if they would carry Lunar Beauty. That'd be so freaking cool. But anyway, we have some cheats. This gives me such Cheeto vibes. This is like the French Cheetos, perhaps. Oh no, okay. Baby, they're Cheetos. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, they're Cheetos, bitch. Mm. Mm. Lady Patchouage Jeju. That's where I'm getting my dress made. Let me stop with the bridesmaid references. Please let me stop. Okay, we have a Looney Tunes box. It's a McDonald's box that got really fucked. I don't know what happened to it, darling. I don't know what happened. We got more snacks. We got some pretzels. We got some little pretzel lingies here. We have twi nuts. Twi nuts. Twi nuts. And it looks like a nut wrapped in a biscuit. Nut in a biscuit. That sounds so inappropriate. Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard from the French city Dijon. It's real Dijon from Dijon. Oh my God. I'm not gonna eat it right now. I'm not gonna like, I'm not doing that. But it's the original. 
Dijon mustard from Dijon itself. I'm a culture. Sure. We have makeup too. Okay, cool. We have makeup card. Oh, okay. So we literally have prices in here too. Look at there's like makeup written down. Thank you, Mo. Mo, you are really just you're giving it to me. In this bag, you'll find. So it's like a little like you'll find bag. We'll go ahead and pull that out next. But we'll keep on, you know, moving. Oh. Oh, skin. We have some skincare. We have a skincare version too. Ah! That is so cute. We have some crackers. We have some crackers. We got some crackers. Original toque. You know what I, what I actually want to try is one of these fucking nuts. I want a nut. Oh, don't listen to me. Oh my gosh. There's a bacon flavor. <coughs> There's a bacon flavor. So it's a nut with bacon flavor. But they're not bad. They're not bad. I was a little shocked though. I was a little shocked. A little shocked to my system. But they were stunning. What's this? Ah, now you have a beret. Hope you feel Parisian. I think I've made it. I made it. I'm Parisian, bitch. Bitch, a Parisian beret? Bitch. Berra. How do I wear one? I feel like Madeline, Madeline, the little cartoon. I feel like I'm wearing it wrong. Bitch, this hole's little. Like, I have a big ass fucking man head, dude. What the fuck? Listen. Is that more Parisian now? Oh, she's looking so fucking cute. I'm wearing it wrong. So if anyone wants to describe how to wear a beret for me, that would be absolutely gorgeous. That would be stunning, but I have my own beret. And not only that, we have this gore. It honestly looks stunning. This like long sleeve. This okay. If this beret and like this combined, maybe this is Paris. This is like giving me Parisian mime. I cannot wait to fully represent. Pe oh shit! You guys, I have a keychain. Zaya with love. James is calling me. I'm filming. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I'm already living my, I'm literally living my Paris fantasy right now. And that stuff is like nicely made. Next, we have Mikhail Elgostian, Palmier's Algen. Y'all do this to me on purpose, don't ya? You really do, and I think you like it. I think you like me trying to read things. Some of the Frenchest snacks ever. Petite, what? Petite bure are perfect with tea, and not just the liquid one. Like tea, like. Tea. <laughs> so, we got some crackers. And we got some je t'aime. Oh my god, I think that means I love you. Je t'aime is like, I love you. Right? Should we try one of these? I feel like we should. I feel like it's, I feel like we should. These look like the driest crackers I've ever seen. And I'm scared. Like, well, I need to have a fucking pound of water after. They're stunning. Mmm. They're studying. Why are they so fucking good? And they're not even dry. They just look dry. They're just flaky. <laughs> okay, honestly, what, so I've been to Paris, obviously, like I said. The pastries in France are literally out of this world. They do the pastries right. They do them right, dude. Oh, shit. What is this? A mug. A fucking mug. No problema. No. No problema. No problema. I literally love mugs so much. This is absolutely adorable. No problema. Period. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna go and move on to the makeup portion of today's video. Honestly, but by the way, so far the box has been absolutely awesome. I've been loving this Paris mystery box so much. Literally incredible, I'm obsessed. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Mo for doing this with me. Like this is actually so much fun. Like I feel like I'm in Paris. Like I'm in Paris from. Okay, so I pulled out the makeup. We have stuff from L'Oreal. We have some L'Oreal Glow. We have this uh, Bourgeois Paris Concealer from Bourgeois Paris right here. Shade Crystal. I think that will actually match my face. So we have some blush from L'Oreal. This Silk Edition Touch Up from Bourgeois Paris as well. We have some Telescopic Mascara from L'Oreal. We have a lot of L'Oreal here, which I'm actually very shocked about. Um, and then we have Black Up Paris. It's a little pally! It's actually very adorable. It looks really nice, actually. Looks made in Italy. Oh my god. 
the well. <laughs> the well. We have a Dior lipstick as well. Dior lipstick. Ooh. We have shadow palette, bronzer, highlighter palette. We have a L'Oreal bronzer, highlighter palette, and blush. I'm not sure we have those in the US. Okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. So she gave me a L'Oreal bronzer, L'Oreal blush, and L'Oreal highlighter. She did not know we had these specific products here in the States. Obviously, of course, she knew that we had L'Oreal, but she didn't know that we had these specific ones. And honestly, I don't know if we do. Because I've never seen a L'Oreal product with a melon, watermelon press on the powder itself. Same with a L'Oreal bronzer that had like a Havana leaves on it. Never seen that. Never seen this palette either. So I'm very, very intrigued by these new L'Oreal products for me. L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, a legend we stand, obviously. Bourjois Concealer, I took the less yellow one, hope it fits. Cool, Bourjois Touch Up Powder. The only non-French thing we have in here is actually the Revlon. The Revlon Brow Powder, sick. Ding. The Dior Lipstick was 38 euros. And the Shadow Palette was 44 euros. That's a lot. That's it all. And then of course we have the skincare as well, which I'm very, very excited to try. I don't know if there's like a skincare item that I can use like right now. Zero blemish gel cream. So, okay, this is like a an acne cream. Energizing exfoliating shower gel. Took me a second to get there. Cause I saw the beads in it and I was like, I'm not doing this on my face. I put beads on my face. Oh, I made some little sample fragrances from Jean-Paul Gaultier, Yves Saint Laurent. Ooh, what's this? Lab 1010 from Typology. Face serum for oily skin. Not exactly sure, but here we are. Okay, so the Yves Rocher, this one, is a moisturizer for combination to oily skin, one of her faves of all time. So it's a moisturizer. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna fucking use it right now. Oh my God, I'm dead. Okay, so the shower gel, Yves Rocher exfoliating shower gel. See, we smell good. There's like a stigma that in France and in Paris, like people from Paris don't smell good. You know, they like just don't shower, which I, it's not true. They, of course they fucking shower. Come on, or they either wash themselves. Like, come on, come on. Let's try this on. I like the packaging of this, by the way. I think it's really, really pretty. It's glass, it's nicely made. This is very dense. Holy crap, this like cream is very, very like, it's like gnarly cream. It's gnarly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've never looked beautiful. -er. Okay, I'm gonna rub this in. This feels absolutely amazing. This feels so, so good, wow. So it like melts in super freaking fast, but it's like so dense and like rich and thick, but it kind of thins out. It just like already absorbed. And that was like in 10 seconds. I'm not kidding. Like it, like, baby, it's not on my face anymore. It smells really nice too, really nice. Okay, okay, I do that work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and prime and put foundation off, off of camera, put foundation on, off of camera, because I don't have any foundation here. And of course we will be using the concealer on camera though. So I can show you guys what it looks like. And of course this little powder, and this is just a classique. Oh, wait, look at this, look at this component. What the fuck? I don't know why I like it so much, but I really like it, it's a swivel. And it's just basically a setting powder, it's a translucent setting powder, it's basic. there's plastic. Feels really size, very hardly pressed. You know what this is? This actually reminds me of a, um, it's a touch-up powder. So it's essentially a powder that's gonna absorb oil. It's more of an oil absorbing blotting powder is what it essentially is. It's not like a setting powder, it's a blotting powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some foundation, some primer and shit on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put some foundation on and I'm wearing some foundation, no concealer yet. Cause so we're gonna be using the bourgeoisie. No, bourgeoisie, what the fuck? The bourgeois Paris concealer. A little baby doe foot applicator. She's very uh, light. She's very, very light for us. Holy shit. Okay, so she's very light, but we're gonna try to make her work. You know why? Because we're sickening. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out and see what it looks like. That coverage is beautiful. Holy shit. That's gorgeous coverage. Gorgeous finish. Oh, radiant, baby, she's radiant. Wait, why does my skin look so sickening right now? By the way, the foundation that I'm wearing right now is my current obsession. It's the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. Current obsession, I'm obsessed with it. And I'm actually obsessed with this concealer, by the way. It's brightened up my skin, it gave me gorgeous coverage. I would say it's not like super full coverage, but it's a nice medium to full. Look at that, I'm gonna add a little bit more here. Just an extra bit of coverage and a little bit down the center of my nose as well. Just give me some more coverage, just a little bit. Just give me a little bit, please, just a little bit more. Sometimes when I'm feeling my fantasy, like I am right now, no one can tell me shit. <laughs> So far, I really like that concealer, by the way. This like healthy mix concealer. I like the coverage. I feel like the coverage is gorgeous, a nice medium coverage, but it gives me a nice radiant finish. I really like it. Okay, we're gonna set our face. And we're just using a loose translucent powder because the other powder would not have done me justice to be quite honest. <laughs> it wouldn't have. Okie dokie, so we are fully set. We are fully powdered and we are fully ready to go to the next product. We have he, our Sunkiss L'Oreal bronzer. I never, you guys, I haven't tried this because I don't even think, I don't think that we have this here. 
any of these L'Oreal products that she gets sent me and they look really promising. So I'm a little shaky. We're gonna go ahead and dip on in and see what it looks like on the skin. Okay, that's actually stunning. This is in the shade uh, Sunkissed. Sunkissed, okay, that's actually Gorgine because it's not one of those like too much coverage right away bronzers. I like a buildable bronzer. That's just me, that's my personal uh, opinion. That's my opinion. That's my opinion! I really, really like just natural bronzers that you can build up because I don't like adding too much. I need it to build, honey, I need to build. Bob the Builder. And this color is absolutely beautiful. It's a little more warm than I usually like to go actually, but I don't mind it. Like I don't mind it, it's so pretty. I'm literally obsessed. Why don't we have this here? I'm, we must, we must. Do you guys know about this bronzer here in the States? Or if you've seen it with the little palm trees as like the press? Let me know. I just, I don't think I've seen it ever. But that's beautiful. Okay, let's put the blush on because now I'm so intrigued. This blush is in the shade Watermelon, of course. Take the same brush. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this watermelony. It smells sweet. I think I can like it more. It smells fucking sweet. I love the smell. I love these. I love them both. They're absolutely fucking stunning. Mo, you kind of did that, bitch. What the fuck? I love it. I literally love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, next, we're moving on to the La Vie and Glow palette from L'Oreal. Okay, you guys, these are all L'Oreal products that were, the bronzer and blush were an absolute win for me. I thought they turned out beautifully. They were pigmented, but not overly pigmented. I could build them up really nicely. Really, really enjoyed both of those. So I'm hoping that I enjoy the highlighters as well. So the press looks a little weird. Oh, bitch. What do they four look like right here? So intense. Bitch! I just did a video talking about, no, it wasn't KBD. It was the Lime Crime, I found it at TJ Maxx. In my TJ Maxx video, it was a Lime Crime palette and the powders were like flatly pressed. Does that make sense? They were flat pressed against like the pan. This is exactly what that reminds me of. It's flatly pressed, there's no lift to it. It's super flat. Where was this made? I have to know. Made in Italy! <laughs> made in Italy, bitch. This has to be the same lab. Like, it has to be the same lab. There's no fucking way I'll believe that it's not. It's made in Italy, too, and that they're that similar. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this little bit of a gold one right here. Right there, a little bit of this one, a little bit of this one, too. Fuck it, Doug Life. So here we are. That's literally beautiful. You guys, we don't have the... I know we don't have this here. I know we don't have this here, bitch. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Bitch, it's the exact same formula, by the way. It's the exact same formula as the ones like that Lime Crime palette and like the KBD palette, both made Italy as well. We're, we're catching on, bitch. We're catching on. We're picking up what you're putting down. And honestly, they're very beautiful. They're not like super intense. They're like a buildable kind of moment, but I think that they are absolutely stunning. Paris is slaying me currently, by the way. Miss Paris, mystery box, Miss Parisian moment. She's slaying my entire existence. Okay, L'Oreal in Paris. Why aren't these products here in the States? Like. Why aren't these here? By the way, they're all made in Italy. This is made in Italy, this is made in Italy, and this is made in Italy. Bitch, like I honestly am very impressed. Maybe they're also made in Italy and we have the Italy ones here too, but I just, I haven't seen these and I haven't seen this effect. And I think they look really pretty. Maybe I'm delusional, who knows? Who knows? I mean, I am. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with this little Revlon pencil. This is the Colorstay Brow Creator. We might have this here. I don't, I'm not exactly sure if we have this here, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just create some little strokes in my brow. What shade is this? Dark brown. The pencil's nice, like it's literally like, it's pigmented. It's giving me my little strokes. By the way, it's like really, it comes off very easily, as you can see. It's a very emollient pencil, very stiff. Does that make sense? It's like creamy, emollient, and it's uh, gonna glide through your brows really easily. So for more full brows that want just like a little bit of a fill, this is gonna be a great product for you. Okay, I'm gonna go do my brows off camera and prime my eyes, and I'll be right back to do the eyes. Okay guys, so we are back, and the brows are Filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Looking stunning, as always. Um, actually, so <laughs> this is actually not my current brow routine. Uh, you know, we had to make it work though with what it is. You know, it's a brow pencil. We had to get all brow pencil up in here. They're not even, but um, who cares? This gives me like old school brows, honestly. Like old school Manny brows. So moving on to the Black Up palette right here. We're gonna do a natural look, guys, by the way, because I wanna go in with this red lipstick. We have a red Dior lipstick. Very Paris, very Paris. So we're gonna do something super soft and neutral on the eye, and you can't help me shit. So we're gonna do a little bit of a, a hmm? Oligera right here. Ooh, pigmented, but not a lot of fallout. Oh yeah, no, this is nice. Miss Alagara, Miss Black Up, she's, she's cute. They're not dry, they're creamy, but they are pressed really gorgeous. Look at this, look at this. I just watched it, ma'am. I'm gonna deepen the outer corner just ever so slightly. Super pretty, so should I do 
Pimpet or Dualu Habu? I have no fucking clue what you just said, but hell yeah, man. I'm gonna speak my truth. But fair enough. So these are two shades and they are so pretty. Come on, quality. You guys are giving us quality here. Y'all are giving us fucking quality over here. Let's do Pimplet. Literally the shade's Pimplet. Like a pimp. P-I-M-P. Pimplet. I'm living the pimplet fantasy. So on the eye, it's not as like in intense. It's like a shimmer, right? It's like a shimmery shade, but there's like no glitter in it. So it's not gonna have like that reflection that like, you know, really bold shades like that usually have. She's still soft and beautiful on the eyes. Like that is so pretty. What? Who gave you permission? Okay, I'm impressed with the shadows, you guys. Honestly, I really am impressed. Like, genuinely impressed. They don't, they're not as intense on the eyes as they are in swatch, I'm not gonna lie. So as you can see, they're just not as reflective but on the eye still, they look beautiful and like they're really soft. And I feel like that's very Parisian makeup perhaps. Like maybe it is a little more on the soft side. You know what I mean? A little soft serve. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish the eyes off of camera. I got an idea of the palette. I think it's beautiful. I'm very, very impressed. Um, And then I'll put on some lashes and I'll do the lips on camera. And I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay guys, so we put a little lash on, and of course I put the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I already have that mascara, I know I've used it, and I really, really like it before, so I figured, I'm like, you know what, we don't need to, you know, show that. I've definitely used it before on my channel. So, put on a little lash, and we are here, and we're gonna do the lippies now. So, of course, we have the Dior lipstick. I'm gonna get a lip liner. Oh, why don't we use this one? I just got this from fucking, from TJ Maxx. Hello, the lime crime one. So we'll use this, just a lip line. Cinnamon. And now, for the Dior. Where the fuck is it? There it is. And now for the Dior. Oh, I'm Parisian. You can't tell me I'm not. Oh, it's like a cherry. A cherry red. It's like a cream finish, so it's not like super full coverage or anything, but she's cute. And that is Miss Dior 999 Rouge. Oh my goodness. And you can't tell me shit in this red. Okay, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I'm looking at my lipstick because I will be getting lipstick in my teeth for sure. And this is what the final Parisian makeup box looks like from Paris, France. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so pretty. I think my skin looks great. I think everything that honestly was from the box was so good. Like I was thoroughly impressed with so much of the stuff, especially that L'Oreal stuff from Italy. I'm like, when the, I don't think we have that here. I do not think we have that here. And I wish we did because they were literally stunning. But um, overall, I was very, very, very impressed. The whole box I thought was fantastic. I think I looked great. The All the snacks, the beret, everything. I honestly absolutely loved it. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Mo for doing this with me. I think that was a $500, very well spent. And I absolutely enjoyed and loved filming this. But anyway, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. Let me know in the comments bar below what place I should do a mystery box from next. Where in the world is Manny going next? But yeah, you guys, that's it. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. I'm a little winded from uh, walking, so that's good for me. Great for fucking me. The mystery box. Someone's dropping off a package. So yeah, it's gonna bark. She did it, thank you, God. You are so good. Ah, so this is my eye. All right.